guys. How you doing? So, not knowing what else you'll do today, but I do a honing video. So I haven't really done a lot of them. I'm just curious to see how it goes and uh, what the response of it is. So today I've got with me a razor out of my personal collection. And usually I mark all my razors, what I've been doing with them, so I know. But I'm not, I don't remember what I was doing with this razor last. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and I'll put a new, uh, new edge on it and I'll give you a test. So this razor seems like it's already in pretty good condition. I'm just going to go ahead and start out on a 8K. Nice smooth 8K here. It's a Shapton. Go ahead and get some water on it. I like to slurry my stones a little bit. Keeps the edges nice, keeps them flatter longer, conditions them properly. And uh, really, anytime you're working with a slurry, you can really speed up your stones, make things go a lot quicker. It's a common problem with these synthetics is that the edge gets the surface of the stone gets real smooth real nice but as a trade-off stone stops cutting efficiently they tend to clog up with stuff you know grit from the razor metal particles so by slurring them periodically like this you don't have to do it a lot but it will keep the pores of the stone cleared up make things look a lot better for you Always when you're honing a razor, it's really nice to have a uh, loop on the side. Makes your life so much easier trying to figure out what's going on. As you can see here, it's taking no time at all. Get some nice black swarf going. And you can see the undercut a little easier because it's colored. So I actually really love slurring just about every stone I've got. It just seems to work better. And slurring all your stones is pretty much what everybody else in the world does. I'm not sure what the US crowd is doing. It seems like they're kind of divided. Some people with their codicles like to slurry. Some of them just use water. Yeah. yeah. So you should have no problem right off the bat here. Let's get some nice diagonal X strokes. Really, really uniform. Really, really fine. Across the whole length of the bevel. Just perfect looking. You guys can see that or not, but I'm just checking with my loop here. Looking good. No worries there. Okay, I'm going to rinse the stone. I'll be right back. rinse the stone real quick. Now I'm just going to finish up on water because just water is real fine. In case you guys are wondering, the slurry stone I'm using on these synthetics is a piece of Arkansas stone. They make a great stone for slurrying your base stone because they're so incredibly hard. They don't really give up much for particles on their own. Pretty much the only way you can get an Arkansas stone to slurry is by using a diamond plate, which makes them a wonderful candidate for this kind of work. 
And I like to switch up my strokes. So it'll make it easier to see in my loop when I'm done on this stone. It's probably not going to take much because those are pretty fine scratches. But yeah, I personally really can't say enough about slurrying your stones because it just works so well. And you can see we're getting a little bit of clogging on the stone. That's pretty normal. Especially for these synthetics. I don't know why, but they just seem like they really like to collect the metal instead of pushing it around. But if you use slurry, it really makes life easier. Let's see, we've got a little bit of metal removal, but not near as much as when we were using slurry. So it's definitely cutting, cutting finer. Okay, I'm done on this stone. So when I finish up, I like to take the same slurry stone back to it. Just give it a quick once over. Here's all this metal debris. You can see it floating around now. It also helps me keep the stone flat, conditions the surface. It's just a good idea, I think. It's a good practice. A lot of people in other countries besides the US would agree with me. Let's see. No leftover crap on the surface. So that's good. I'll try something new today. I think I'm done with this stone. My black heart, Arkansas. Nice piece from Dan's. Let me grab it. It's, uh, I don't really have a stone holder. I just use the block that it came on, or the box, whatever you want to call it. Make sure it's nice and super clean. There we go. And what I wanted to do today, if I can find it, where did I set that stone? Uh, where'd you go? No, oh, here it is. I've got the back side of a codicle. This is nice slate. And I've cut some grooves in it to make it easier to slurry with. Grooves in your stones are really nice. And I've seen it going around the internet, people trying it out. Seems like the, the jury is out on it, but I've been trying it out and I like it enough, so. Oh yeah, look at that. So all I'm trying to do here is to speed up this arc they are so slow. I don't have time for that. Thousands of laps or whatever people tell me it takes to finish on an arc and I say, bah. I don't got time for that. These grooves and these stones is a really nice concept. How easy it's making this. Yeah, we got some slurry on there. For reference, this slate that I'm putting in the slurry here, this is slurry is coming off of the slate, it's not coming off the arc. But people tell me the slurry off the slate is about 12k, so we just move from 8k. So I'm making sure I got enough on here to work with. See if that's enough or not. I'll probably dilute this as I go. been a project of mine for a while trying to figure out what I can do with these Arkansas, especially the hard Arkansas and translucent Arkansas. What can I do for them to make them cut faster, make the process of using one more efficient? So like I said, I really reject the notion that the only way you can use these is with oil and making, making everything take thousands of laps to finish on them. I just think that's such bullshit. I think with just water on them, Sure, they're a really fine stone, but it's kind of missing the point. 
there's like this whole other world of slurrying your stones. That seems to be a lesser known thing than just using them with water. Like I said, it just seems like to me in the US, the owners are just dead set on only using water if all possible. And I just think that's the wrong approach. You get better results using slurry and faster. There's just really not a lot of drawbacks to it. And you see how well it pays off using it. So I've been doing X strokes now. If you watched the last strokes I did on the 8K, we're straight up and down. This will allow me to see if I've got slanted cut marks across the bevel. Then we'll know we've done some work and we can dilute. I'm starting to see some. I don't think we're there yet. I'm gonna try some circles too. So why not? Something about honing, it's meant to be fun. This isn't something that critical anymore. I mean, if all else fails, you can always reach for some cartridge razor or a double edge blade. It's an enthusiast thing, it's meant to be enjoyable. So I love experimenting. I'm always trying to make my stones better somehow. I think of new ways to use them. I just want to be crazy about this arc because it seems like such a cool stone. If I could ever figure out how to make it super efficient or do something cool that nobody's thought of yet. Be so neat. Another thing though is like the feedback using slurry is just so much nicer than if you're just using water. So I'm seeing a color change in the slurry, which is indicating to me that it must be doing something. But I just haven't seen a whole lot for Building in the scratch pattern. Huh. Well, the cool thing is, is that those circles, normally with like cortical slurry and stuff, would uh, leave some pretty gnarly marks going sideways across the razor. But I'm not seeing that with this slurry. I'm just going to keep going ahead and doing circles. It doesn't seem to be hurting anything. And circles are a pretty efficient way to do a lot of work. Which if I put any stock on what's going around the internet, the Arkansas underneath in general isn't doing much work. It's kind of a notorious post miniature in that it's too fine by itself to really be useful. It's only a finisher, or it's only a post finisher, whatever that means. Razor's either done or it's not. Need some more. <clears throat> I'm confident I'm really not hurting anything, so if all else fails, I can just switch over and use the JNAD or a codical or something else to finish this razor if I wanted to. I'm not seeing a whole lot for slurry either, all of a sudden. Probably fell off the stone. Which anymore, I just let that happen because it just seems like a part of doing this type of thing. But the slurry is bound to fall off eventually. Just kind of rolls over the edges.
It's getting a little bit of dark in my as I wipe it off, so. And if I moved a little bit of metal, it just ain't much. Not bad. Let me go rinse and try it with some water. And maybe some soapy water, we'll see. water. No slurry this time. I don't like the feedback of that. Let me just skip that and go to soap. It's doing a nice job on the edge though. It's getting where I can't even see scratches. Maybe get another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. seen any swerf this time so we're just polishing not bad let's uh, clear off anything that could be on there possibly I like to make sure my last finishing passes are something really pristine I don't want anything in there whatsoever so I always start off with a completely clean stone. I need to wipe it on my shirt a little bit. Like that. Now a little bit of water. Just a dab of soap. You can get carried away with the soap and make this weird soupy mess, which is super annoying. Just a little drop of soap. Like that. I try not to use oil in general. Just don't like it. Water is abundant. Oil is something I have to drive to the store. Especially now, in this pandemic. Who wants to drive to the store? Who really wants to go out? If they don't have to. It's super annoying right now. Not bad. We may even go ahead and drop on the stone just a little bit, see what that does.
rinse this bad boy off one more time. We're done. Let's drop this, see what we ended up with. So I just like to take one last look at it under the microscope. Just because I'm always curious if the strop actually does anything or not. I mean, I know it smooths out the edge, but in terms of if it actually affects the, uh, the job I just did on it or not. From near as I can tell, it really doesn't. Okay. Let's see here how this turned out. Should be able to hear it if it makes any noise. So far, it's not looking like it's going to. Oh. Not hearing a thing. Completely silent. See that or not? Nice. I'm always paranoid, it's not going to pick it up. My hair is weird too. It doesn't always uh, doesn't always do what the, the deal is supposed to. Like one one spot. Maybe. And again, maybe not. I never feel like hair tests are that accurate. It's just one way to try and gauge what's going on. But it sure was easy. Hope those picked up. But anyway, I think that razor's ready to test out and uh, see how it works. Thanks, guys.